Some people said that my rhetoric is very strong, he said during remarks at a joint news conference in Tokyo alongside Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. But look at what's happened with very weak rhetoric over the last 25 years. Look where we are now. Trump referenced his meetings with family members of Japanese kidnapped by the North Korean regime, and alluded to the death of American Otto Warmbier to bolster his case for an aggressive approach toward Pyongyang. Abe said that Japan and the U.S. are in complete agreement as to the way forward in dealing with North Korea, including that now is not the time for direct talks with North Korea. We were in complete agreement as to the measures to be taken on the situation with North Korea, Abe said, noting that he agrees all options should remain on the table. Abe said now is a time for a strengthening of sanctions against Pyongyang. For more than 20-some years, the international community attempted dialogue with North Korea, Abe said. Now is the time not for dialogue but for applying a maximum level of pressure on North Korea. Abe added Japan plans to implement additional sanctions against North Korea, including promising to freeze assets of 35 North Korean entities and individuals. Trump also urged North Korea's Kim Jong-un to release hostages North Korea is holding, moments after meeting with the relatives of Japanese citizens held hostage by North Korea. If he would send them back I think it would be the start of something, just the start of something very special, Trump said. Trump also offered words to the North Korean people in response to a separate question, saying he believes the people of North Korea are great people. I think that these are great people. They are under a very repressive regime and I really think that, ultimately, I can tell you this I hope it all works out. It would be better for everybody. Certainly, it would be better for North Korea but it would be better for everybody, Trump said.